How would you feel if you worked 10 plus years to build something? You put your blood, sweat, and tears behind it, and it became successful, and you created a culture, a family-like culture, where everybody who now comes into your businesses, they love, they respect it, they treat it right. You pay your rent on time every time. You don't bring any conflict in the community. This is an area of peace, of unity, and prosperity. And then one day you got a letter in the mail that said, hey, since you guys are in a, in a, in a sucky shopping center, we're going to open a BJ's wholesale. Regardless, that this, the shopping center sucks, but we maintain the successful business in the shopping center due to be, because we really built that environment for people that they love to come. We're out in front of the, the redevelopment for the, the possible BJ's wholesale. As you can see, it's a vacant plaza and they're gonna come together and build a BJ's Wholesale right here. So Bez, we have here some documents you recently received in the mail from your landlord. Apparently they're trying to sue your business and kick you out of your liquor store business of 10 years. Can you elaborate more on this situation? The situation is honestly everything that's wrong with humanity right now, you know? It just, it's bullying, it's negativity, it's greed, it's jealousy. Let's get more positivity, let's get more community, you know? We're pretty much being forced right now to leave our shopping center, even though we pay rent on time every single time. They doubled our rent, we still pay it. We fixed our AC, which they said that they would pay half on. They did none of that. And then they found out that a BJ's Wholesale wants to move into the same shopping center as us. And BJ's Wholesale also carries liquor. We're a liquor store. So they're pretty much saying, you guys gotta leave because you're the smaller company, even though we've built a successful business here put our blood, sweat, and tears into it over 10 years where you can't just force us to leave. You, you know, you're, you're messing with the wrong one. You're messing with the wrong one as far as just trying to, trying to bully us out. I'm not gonna allow my business to be bullied, you know? So that's really where I stand for this so situation. Ricky, you've been shopping at Castle Blair Liquors for over 10 years. You are a very loyal customer to our store and we appreciate your business. What are your feelings on the situation with the landlord trying to kick us out and replace us with BJ's Wholesale? Well, as far as the landlord goes, and uh, I think, uh, you know, him being a businessman, he's looking for a, a money grab, but he's not thinking about long-term commitment. Now, uh, they're out there doing basically getting permits and, um, you know, ordinance to build where that is just them going through motions because firsthand I know my wife used to work at Staples, which was a big store, where it was the only one occupying that side of the parking lot and did good business. Um, they did not renew their contract, uh, a store that's been there for a very long time. Uh, of the 16 people that were working there, only four of them got relocated to another store. The other ones lost their jobs. Um, from the other personal view I see, it's riddled with people just, you know, the, the shop, the mini malls and everything all around the area are, are, are just empty. And uh, big box stores have not um succeeded in any of these locations you've been coming to the store i've been coming to the store for about two years now and what do you like best about it what i like best about it is every time i come here you know i always have you know that family vibe and that, yep. that laughter coming in you know never no judgment zone you've been a model tenant you have paid your rent on time for the past yeah, 10 years mine. with no issues even during the covid lockdowns yeah. you continue to pay your rent and you even recently paid 7800 for a brand new ac and now the landlord is charging you double rent and trying to bully you out. How does it feel to be exploited, threatened to be kicked out of your lease, charged double rent, and to have your business possibly destroyed and replaced with BJ's Wholesale for no apparent reason other than greed? I'm a survivor and I'm always pushed through it. And it's gonna be God's plan, but it's also my plan and I'm a fighter. So I'm gonna stand for what's right for me, my family, and the community around here and our customer fan base. And I, I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be here. You know, we've seen it throughout the cycle of America so many times and we have to break this cycle, which is going on where I'm, I'm you try to step on me, but I'm gonna step over them, you know? All right, next question. 
I know of lately, across America in the past year or so, the rents have been increasing at an alarming pace. What do you think about the situation and big greedy corporations and landlords trying to raise rents and kick out people out of their leases? I feel like it's going to take away our freedom because then it's like everything is going to be owned by the same exact people. And then for the consumer, it seems good for the short term. But when the same exact people own everything, the prices of everything are going to go up because they control the prices where independent businesses such as this, family owned businesses such as this, it's like we bring our own style, we bring our own originality, we bring our own prices where the freedom of enterprise to open up different businesses and have multicultural environments. That's really the beautiful thing of America. We don't want America to become communist. You know, we don't want communism. We're just bam. Now a few people are controlling everything and the citizens have no choice, you know? So I feel like we got to stand behind our independent businesses, family owned businesses, because they, they give us, they give consumers choice. How does this situation affect you and your family? No. Your employees and longtime customers. Nobody likes to scale back their life. You know, now I got to make different decisions. I got to move differently. I got I to gotta look my son in his eyes. I got to look my wife in their eyes and tell them, hey, we might have to scale back a little bit. You know, we got to tell the customers, hey, you know, when, when, when you walk in another store, they, they ain't going to know your name. They're not going to care about you. And you might receive horrible customer service. You know, that maybe they're going through something hard day at work. They come in here. And this is their escape. And then when they go somewhere where the person at the register knows their name, knows their face, you know, ask them about their kids. Uh, how long have you been going to this liquor store? Me? Yeah. Years. Years. Like Years? What makes you choose here over all the other places? Hey, it's close to home and the good people, man. Exactly. Hey, man, thank you so much. Let's... I have so much, but he's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Man, thank you. Yeah. If they, if, if they were trying to force this liquor store to move out because they're trying to open a BJ's Wholesale, how would you feel about that as a member of the community, right? Nah, don't do it. Exactly, exactly. Why well, we gotta move? So Mr. Pradeep, you've been working here now at Castle Bay Liquors for a few years. What are your feelings on the situation with the landlord and BJ's Wholesale wanting to come in? Yes, thank you. Uh, I've been working at Castleberry Liquor for two years now. And I was working in Chicago for 10 years before this. I moved here for the warm weather. And uh, I wasn't happy to hear about uh, BJ's moving in next door to us. I was uh, alarmed. Uh, the reason being that uh, all this had been taking place quietly. With us, without us knowing. Uh, last month, the council approved the establishment of large, large retail establishments. And uh, round the corner from us was Staples. They were closing down end of June. When I went there to buy something, I heard uh, the workers complaining that they had been there for 20 years. 20 years and they were upset that they were losing their job. Some were saying that I've been here for 20 years. Where do I go from here? So I sensed uh, something wrong. And then uh, later on, I realized that the landlords had uh, ended uh, Staples lease and that we were going to be next. What do you think could be a good solution to the problem? You want a solution to the problem? Talk to me, talk to us. Right. Why kick us out? Let us stay here. Have you ever been to Dubai? Have you ever been to Dubai? You can see 100 shops in one mall selling gold, but they all make it. So we can all make it. Leave us here. Let us do our business. You do your business. You do your liquor. We do our liquor. And we all have a piece of the cake. Not for you to eat up the whole cake by yourself. No, that wouldn't be right. Hello, Mr. Ali. So you've been working at Castle Bay Liquors for a while now. What are your feelings on the situation with the landlord and BJ's Wholesale wanting to come in? I think it's a very unfair situation. I think that uh, BJ's is a big store, kind of a bully. And I think that uh, they're not going to be fair to the community. The community 
need smaller stores where they can get smaller quantities. BJ's provides bulk, and uh, this is not the neighborhood for that. Gotcha. Um, that's good. Um, how is this situation personally affecting you? Well, after Corona, finding a job, finding a place where I can work and be comfortable, I found a place. Now this whole new situation has arisen. Um, I've heard of uh, the landlord's bullying tactics and doubling the rent and playing very unfair uh, with BJ's coming in. It's not going to serve the community because they don't have the variety and they don't have the smaller quantities which the community is looking for. Um, what do you think could be a good possible solution to solve this problem? I think the easiest solution would be for BJ's not to have a liquor store and allow us to stay. And if that's going to be an issue, you know, we're going to have to fight for our rights here and we're going to have to stand our ground, you know. This is not Israel and Palestine, you know. We're going to stand and fight. We have the ammunition to fight. I think the real question is, how would you feel if someone took away everything you worked long and hard for? This store has been around for over a decade, and you're just trying to take it away from the community, from our family, from my son. And it's just not right. You know, an independent business, just let them grow and leave us alone. On top of that, I'm a landlord close by, and I've seen what Castleberry's become, and it's riddled with vacant, you know, uh, shopping strip, strip malls, and it's, yep. it's just everybody coming in for a money grab, and then later on, we have big, empty parking lots with nothing there. There's no desire to be around here when you see all that emptiness. So what these guys bring is basically uh, familiar faces. Put it this way, BJ goes in, you're gonna be buying liquor off of somebody that really doesn't wanna be there, care less about customer service, cares less if you come back, because they're only there for a paycheck. Yeah, what you get? Uh, the little yeah. What made you come to this store? All the stores. Uh, bro, honestly, I just live over here, but me and my girl have been here a couple times, and it's just legit, man. You got like good prices, good selection, so that's yeah, awesome. man. That's what the hell So, you think the store will have your loyalty? loyalty? Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's awesome. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, that's great. Okay, it affects my family tremendously knowing that someone's trying to take the store away from my family, my son. You know, I visioned him working in the store one day as, you know, a young kid, just like his father and his uncle did. And then his kids do the same. And you're trying to take that and build a fake store where, you know, a legacy does not lie there. You know, there was, there was, there was better in society. I love to see good win and good, good is gonna win in the situation. You know, every time I stand firm, every time I stand up for myself and I really, really push for what I believe in, you know, manifest and come true. So I know good's going to prevail. Um, it just kind of disgusts me that I want to see more fair business, you know, less just everybody trying to stomp on each other. You know, it's come on, man, there's there's fair compromise for everybody. Everybody, you could be compassionate and empathetic to everybody's situation without just being a ruthless dictator as far as your business ethics, you know, all because one person in business, all because one person wins doesn't mean the other business has to lose. You could be multiple winning businesses if you find if you find a good middle ground for everybody. What would be a good possible outcome and solution to your situation with the landlord? I think either BJ's Wholesale, no liquor. They could try BJ's Wholesale with liquor if they really want to but they can't kick us out or a big Hi, buyout. Tanya. Um, I've been a long time customer here. Um, I think without this location, this plaza would not be where they're at right now. They've held up every other business that stands here. We have regular customers that come in all the time, faithful people that care about this neighborhood and everybody takes care of 
each other, so I don't feel those that they should go anywhere.